You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Hosea chapter 13, and we'll be reading from the English Standard Version. When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was exalted in Israel, but he incurred guilt through Baal and died. And now they sin more and more, and make for themselves metal images, idols skillfully made of their silver, all of them the work of craftsmen. It is said of them, those who offer human sacrifice kiss calves. Therefore they shall be like the morning mist, or like the dew that goes early away, like the chaff that swirls from the threshing floor, or like smoke from a window. But I am the Lord your God, from the land of Egypt. You know no God but me, and besides me there is no Savior. It was I who knew you in the wilderness, in the land of drought. But when they had grazed, they became full. They were filled, and their heart was lifted up. Therefore they forgot me. So I am to them like a lion, like a leopard I will lurk beside the way. I will fall upon them like a bear robbed of her cubs. I will tear open their breast, and there I will devour them like a lion, as a wild beast would rip them open. He destroys you, O Israel, for you are against me, against your helper. Where now is your king to save you in all your cities? Where are all your rulers, those of whom you said, Give me a king and princes? I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up. His sin is kept in store. The pangs of childbirth come for him, but he is an unwise son. For at the right time he does not present himself at the opening of the womb. I shall ransom them from the power of Sheol. I shall redeem them from death. O death, where are your plagues? O Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. Though he may flourish among his brothers, the east wind, the wind of the Lord, shall come, rising from the wilderness, and his fountain shall dry up. His spring shall be parched. It shall strip his treasury of every precious thing. Samaria shall bear her guilt, because she has rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword, their little ones shall be dashed in pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, even portions of scripture like this that describe judgment and chastisement. Lord, we recognize that the people of Israel were going their own way. At the time of the writing of this passage, they were worshiping idols, and they were forgetting about you, even though you had blessed them in so many ways. Some of them were looking to their kings to rescue them. Others were placing their faith in false gods. But Lord, you reminded them through Hosea that there is no Savior but you. You are the one who rescues. You are the one who redeems. You're the one who gives new life. And Lord, even as we look at this portion of Scripture and see its descriptions of death and judgment, we also see a reminder here of the fact that you're the one who defeats death. Your word tells us that your son, Jesus Christ, who came to this earth and lived the perfect life, also died on our behalf and then rose from the grave, defeating sin, defeating Satan, defeating death. So we're grateful that his victory becomes our victory the moment we trust in him. And we're grateful for the privilege that it is to walk with you each and every day as you accomplish these miraculous works in our lives. Help us, Lord, to trust in you. Help us to recognize that salvation is found in no other name under heaven other than the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray that you would be honored and glorified in our lives. We commit this day to your care, and we thank you for all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. 
For more resources to help you in your walk with Christ, please visit us online at DesireJesus.com.